Hello Star Wars action figure fans and collectors, JCC222 fullback again bringing you another Star Wars action figure review. Today I'm bringing you a review of the Blu-ray commemorative figure and box set, I believe it is called. Let me get it out. It is the Episode 4 Blu-ray release commemorative figure and mini poster collection. Um, now before I go on to these figures, um, Let's go on to the vintage pack, not vintage, to the really nice box. Let me get these figures out of the way. It did come with a poster, I will show you that. Um, episode 4, A New Hope. On the side there, we got the Star Wars logo. Here it says Blu-ray release, commemorative figure, and mini poster collection. And um, on the side of the box, um, if you get them all, like the um, like some books, it will say Star Wars. And on the back of the box, you can see there from previous reviews, we got the. Luke Skywalker, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Sand Trooper, R2-D2. You can freeze the video and read that. And we've got the Episode 1, Episode 2, Episode 3, Episode 5, I um, will be getting that soon. And Episode 6, I'm looking for at the moment. Now onto the poster. Is a really nice poster. It is actually um, near to an exact replica of um, the old ones. Not exact replica, but you read all that. We got Leia, Luke, Vader, the many X Wings, and a weird looking C3PO and R2D2. Overall, I really, really like the poster. Um, I really want this in actual size. It would be really um, cool looking in my collection room. And sorry if my little view area is a mess at the moment. To start, we have Luke Skywalker. Really, really nice figure. It is from the it is a repack of the Luke from the Resurgence of the Jedi pack. Um, actually looks quite a lot like Mark Hamill. Just a little too childish, honestly. Um, I love what they did with the tunic, how it looks very nice. The belt and the little skirt look very nice on the figure. His lightsaber is really, really, um, Nice, but this generic Anakin Skywalker or Luke Skywalker um, saber. Really like the figure. Um, articulation is ball joint, ball um, jointed neck, ball and shoulders and elbows, swivel wrists, um, swivel legs. Um, the skirt. Actually, they may be ball jointed. Yep, they're ball jointed, as you can see there. But the skirt limits them to swivel. Um, ball jointed, um, ball hinged knees and ball hinged ankles. Um, really like the figure. Highly recommended. Um, got the pack for $25 and, um, really like it. Now on to the Ben Kenobi. Um, I already have a Ben Kenobi, but second one doesn't hurt. Um, his face looks um, similar to Alec Guinness. Not totally like the actor, though. Um, his cloak, I really like how well it sits. And um, due to the rubber band, the little underskirt sits really nicely, except little stubborn piece there. There we go. Looks really nice. 
the lightsaber um, only fits in his left hand because the right hand is in somewhat of a waving motion. These aren't the droids you're looking for. Um, overall, I really like the figure. Um, exact same articulation as Luke Skywalker, except um, swivel legs and um, double ball jointed neck. And um, really, really like the figure. The only problem I have with um, hooded or cloaked figures is that the hood never wants to really sit properly. And I always try to find a way to correct that. I did not for this review. That is Ben Kenobi. Moving on to one of my favorite figures from the pack, the Sand Trooper. Now the Sand Trooper is really, really nice. You might be able to see on his staff, it has um, silver weathering marks here. You might be able to see it at the tip, there you go. Sil silver weathering marks on the staff. Um, the Saga Saga Collection one I have um, has buggy eyes, but this one does not. Um, overall, he displays very nicely. Um, currently kind of thinking about making a Tatooine diorama, um, just with like sand and some, some other things, and I think he'll look really nice in it. Um, unlike many other sand troopers, I do not think he comes with the little um, thing you can put there. Oops, sorry, I can show you the backpack. Backpack looks really nice. Um, wish they want to use the TVC one for it. TVC backpack's a lot more detailed. He's a really nice figure, and he looks very nice with his sand trooper buddies. Really nice. Um, so that is the Sand Trooper. Same exact articulation as the Ben Kenobi figure, except he has a single ball jointed neck and no swivel um, torso, just a ball jointed one. And that is the Sand Trooper. The only thing I do not like is his ankle joints are white while his feet are somewhat tan. Now here's my best R2 I have. I really like its silver, its chrome on the um, head there. So um, I can get this really bright light on my desk. You can see how his eye lights up like the power of the full Sajawa. Um, his torso is highly detailed. He has a removable foot at the bottom. Don't, uh, I um, don't want to take that off right now. Um, he's got wheels and hopefully all the bells and whistles you expect out of a um, R2-D2 nowadays. Um, really, really like the figure. Highly recommended. So that is the episode 4 commemorative pack. To recap, oh wait, it's got his articulation. He's got swivel head with a scope that goes up and down along with it. Swivel legs, swivel feet, and removable foot. So that is the R2-D2's articulation. To recap on the figures, you get a really nice R2-D2 figure. You get a really nice Luke Skywalker. You get a um, nice Ben Kenobi. You get a superior Sand Trooper. I think it is better than the TVC one. And you get the infamous little droid R2-D2. So, that is the pack. Um, please subscribe, click that button up there. Um, recommend any reviews like um, Clone Wolves, Clone Troopers, um, Cantina Patrons, Jabba's Palace, practically anything. Um, recommend it if you want. 
So that's really it for this review. Have a good day. May the force be with you.